Hypersonic aircraft can take us around the world and into space at five times the speed of sound, but the extreme heat produced by these speeds can push aircraft beyond their physical limits. The only facility of its kind in the United States, the new Plasmatron X at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, will help overcome grand scientific challenges in hypersonics. Researchers with the Center for Hypersonics and Entry System Studies are using the state-of-the-art facilities to study high temperature materials and structures, plasma modeling, and diagnostics for materials, plasma, and hypersonic flows. We use this facility to study uh, chemistry, uh, radiation, uh, you know, very fundamental questions that are still unanswered. This facility has unique features, and um, the, the main one is that it uses inductively coupled plasma technology to uh, create the plasma, so there is no contact between the gas and the electrodes. That creates like a pure flow, right? So a pristine environment that is really the same one that vehicles uh, find when uh, they travel high up in the atmosphere. You know, that's ideal because you get this uncontaminated plasma stream that you can really use to understand uh, the behavior of materials to do really like material science grade type of testing. The facility is also remarkable for its ability to conduct many tests each day. So whenever you look at facilities around the, the country, the way that they achieve these high temperatures are more impulse facilities. So these would be arc facilities or shock facilities that would achieve those conditions for a very short time on the order of minutes. But whenever we look at the conditions we can have in the Plasmatron X, is we can have conditions that last for hours. And so we're able to really look at the whole flight profile and be able to mimic the high temperature and also the high pressure environments that you'd experience there. Plasmatron X will help facilitate basic and applied research in hypersonics for defense, space exploration, and commercial transport. Getting the resources to, to ask these daring questions has been challenging, simply because the, the support has not been there. Um, but now, um, obviously that's changed, and we're enabled. We, we can ask more bold questions, we can um, you know, try more daring designs, fail, learn from those failures, and then go back and redesign. And I think it's that element that's been missing, and that's what's going to push us forward and really leap ahead in, in new capabilities that we weren't able to even dream of before.